All right, happy to be joined by Saint Safety Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, once upon a time, you were a young guy in this locker room, but you look around, uh, a lot of young bucks in the secondary. How has your role changed on this football team in terms of being a leader and kind of leading young guys here? Um, I mean, I try not to push it. Um, I mean, the coaches do an amazing job of getting with those rookies in extra meetings and helping. Um, I don't want to be that overwhelming veteran that tries to act like he knows it all because I don't have the answers. I'm still growing in this league. I'm still very young in this league, even though I'm the oldest in the group. Um, but no, I'm, in, I'm a helping hand. Um, I'm here to listen, but I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to push these guys in any way. You've seen this defense add some veterans over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. It's always a different dynamic every offseason. Mm -hmm. How can you compare this defense now, maybe compared to the last few years? Uh, I, I can see the coaches really trying to make a change. Um, bringing A.J. Klein, um, who's a great linebacker. Uh, he just had one of the best defensive players in the league starting over him. Going to be a Hall of Famer, probably in Luke Keekley. Um, you bring in Manti Teo, who just had an injury but was playing at a high level before that. My, my best friend Alex Okafor, who's had a good, he's had a, he had a good year in 2014. He had two injuries the last couple of years. So I think we brought in some key additions. You draft Marshawn Lattimore, who I think is a top three pick at number 11. You bring in Marcus Williams, who I thought was a first round pick in the second round. Kamara, even on offense, mm -hmm. I, I thought he was a dynamic back. And then you bring in the legend AP. I mean, that just gets me juiced. Just Period. Just standing with him, doing the national anthem, I'm going to play harder. So um, I think the morale um, on this team is, is definitely different. Final question. Uh, just talk about the mindset of this defense. I mean, new additions all across the board, D-line, linebackers mm -hmm. in the secondary. And this defense, I know, has had its struggles over the years. But is that motivated, this defense, obviously, heading into this season, in this offseason? Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're definitely going to be motivated. Anytime you end up bottom of the league the last couple of years, you got to be motivated. I mean, you don't want the offense to carry you and carry you and carry you and carry you, knowing that you're the reason why we're not we're not going to Super Bowls because we're number one on offense. Probably the last, if you average out the last ten years, we've been the best, right? So, um, I mean, it motivates me. I, I mean, I've always been motivated. I mean, I remember coming in as a rookie. We won. We were good on defense too. We got off the field, and the year before that, we we're the worst defense ever. So, I know I know changes can happen. Just will they happen? Appreciate your time. Yeah. Always a popular interview here in the Saints locker room. Safety Kenny Vaccaro. I'm Mike Neighbors here in Metairie for CST.